Well, what are we fixing today? Today we're out in the garden. Well, in the front yard. Well, whatever. We got a package delivered and it needs to be opened and it needs to be tested. Let's go do that. So, there's starts of my garden. I just got a few onions in there. These onions on the outside are like, they're not like real onions. They're like, I don't know what they're called, but they're more like ground control onions. Um, there's the light I just fixed in the last video, but it looks like in the daylight. Let's go over and see what we got. This is a pressure washer. Now we have another pressure washer and uh, that one went up to the cottage. So you, if you saw some of my videos, you might have seen me cleaning with that. Oh, what better to open something in the garden than the garden shoes, right? So that one stayed up north. We wanted to get a new one for down here. So, we did. Paper. Do you like paper or plastic, man? Paper or plastic? I bought neither. That's how you take care of, uh, that's how you empty something, you just dump it all over the yard. Of course. Here's the pressure hose. Here's part of the nozzle. There's another part of the nozzle, I'm sure. Let's start assembling it right away. Probably is supposed to have a uh, this is difficult. It's got some some O-rings in there. Now this might leak. I can't get it tight, tight. But there we go. Another good use for garden shears. Die wraps. All around too. Great tool for the garden. And for assembling stuff, apparently. Uh, I know that should kind of stay clean, so let's just throw it in there. This one on here. Another O-ring on there, keeps it sealed. See it in there? All right. Yeah, you gotta kinda give it a push first in order for the O-ring to start where the threads can catch. All right, that's tight. Set this to the side. What do we got here? Some stuff. Some stuff. Oh, a place for soap. Wow. Some instructions. Should we look at them? Thanks for your purchase. Okay. But enough looking at the instructions. <laughs> want to get it done right. And I'm neither one of those. All right. Let's see what we got. Ugh. All right. 
camera looks okay. So now we got this model because we got a lawnmower, electric lawnmower. That's from this Chinese company. I kind of like it. Are they giving me screws? They're giving me screws. Oh, darn it. This little clip, this little clip here was, was out, so I snapped it back in. Oh. That means I'm going to have to get a screwdriver. Well, this is more than our other one had. This is 25 degree, 40 degree. So if you're doing like a wide sweep, you'd want this one. Zero degree if you want to drill holes. Filter for the hose. 15 degrees is probably what we'll use today. Let's figure out where this stuff goes. Must be for wrapping. And there's the screws. One short screw. Two short screws, three long screws. All right, that should be easy enough to figure out. These are all the nozzles. Put them down here by that for now. And we kind of hit on the screwdriver. So let's go get a screwdriver. Now let's look at this. Here we have a, a tank. Place with the nozzles here. One, two, three, four screw holes. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. So make sure this goes here. So down in here. There yeah, it kind of goes. There's some, there's some things there that green has to go under it. Like that. It's like so. So. Three long and two short. Hmm. Four holes. This has a hole too. Where's this one go? This one goes here. So let's assume that that needs a long one. All right. And we got two and two. And I have a slightly inappropriate screwdriver. An old itty bitty one. Awesome. Oh, I see. Let's screw it to that. All right, I can handle that. Is it tight? Yep. 
Well, let's push this one back on. Down below, down below, and in. So I'm gonna say longer and shorter. So let's try shorter. I think they're in the middle. It's gonna take my guess. Yeah, I think I'm right. That's about right. I don't know. It feels good to me. Let's find these nozzles. They go up here. So zero. I stay up to sit enough so you can't read them. Fifteen. Forty twenty-five. All right. Now this I don't know. Looks like oh, okay. Looks like there's a place here for something. Probably is. There we go. Let's lift it up here. All right. So you press it on a little ways. This is the pressure side then. Start it and then you twist it on. All right, that's good. You got the hose, you got the wand. And the hose apparently, one thing about these hoses, they don't, they're pressure hoses. They're 2000 PSI pressure hoses, so they don't like bending weird directions. So I guess that goes there. Alright. This cord can just stay up here for now. And the other end must be where the hose goes. Looks like they have some kind of a filter in there. And there's this. This screws on there. And then the hose goes on here. So what happens is, you got a hose with 30 PSI house water, right? Pressure and some volume. You connect that to here. Inside here, this one's electric, so there's an electric pump. You turn this on, the pump starts. And it takes the water from here, maybe takes the pressure times, you know, what, 10 times would be 400, so five or 10 times, and has, uh, say five times, and it has one fifth the volume, then it comes out here. So you've got high pressure, low volume coming out, and low pressure, high volume going in. 
let's uh let's find a hose found a hose well, I'm looking at this attachment -y thing I'm assuming this is for applying soap so you hook this up to the end of your thing and put soap in here and it'll soap it down apparently I don't know have a good idea use for that. You want to make sure this is pretty clean. Yeah. Clean-ish. It's cleaner than that because it isn't happy. There we go. I, I have no doubt that I'm going to have some leaks here. So I'm going to take the outlet. The cord. Oh, need the garden shears again. Great for tie wraps. Make sure this is off. I'm gonna go plug it in. This also has a ground fault protector circuit in it, I think. And look at that, it's all bent. Well, let's see if garden shears are good for bending wires back. Look at that. It's great for adjusting outlets too. Those garden shears, those are nice things. Okay, I got on, push test, it shuts off, Put back on. And turn on the hose. Not leaking too bad here. The object of our affection is going to be that. It's pretty sad. I'm going to unwrap this a little bit. I don't need all the hose off. And I says I think I want the 15. goes. Yes. We'll put it. See how it's vertical slit? That means it's going to fan that way. So let's turn it on and see what happens. It's going to be getting air. Supposed to go somewhere. I didn't have a screw for it. Oh well. <laughs> now I know I got some dirt on the top of it. So this is a paint job coming up. My wife does the painting. I do not. So far, this is working like a champ. She also wanted me to work on the fence. 
I think that's gonna work really nice. I don't feel like doing any more of it though. Here's something that really needs cleaning. The bird bath. I got a little spray back from that one. Let's see what the bird bath is made out of is where are you? A clay pot, a clay pot, and the base for a clay pot. Glue together. Neat, huh? So, how do I like it? It's better than our other one. Very nice. Uh, went together nice, except I have an extra piece, which I don't know where it goes. My wife will probably use this soap thing. I never will. Because I don't believe that that's what pressure washers are for. But, you know, that's the way it goes. 